What's going on everybody? This is the world most famous box and today we're going to be playing FTB Infinity and this is a new world. Yay, sheep. Now I did look at like two other uh, worlds. I take that back. One other world. Um, mainly because my first world actually that I was actually already recording on kind of got corrupted. Don't know what happened. I don't know. Confusing. But hey, it is what it is. So I'm just going to restart and continue doing this and actually start recording. Um, and I think what I want to do is I kind of want to take things slow, but at the same time uh, progress in uh, some of the mods. So uh, first things first, though, I do need to start off pretty vanilla ish. And that is crafting, uh, well, a crafting table. And then I kind of want to. Oh, a little bit of luggage there or something. Anyway, what I want to do actually is this here. I uh, get some basic tools going. Is there a pickaxe? Let's get rid of these books. Now let's put the pickaxe somewhere here. Um, let's go ahead and get a shovel. Let's go ahead and get an axe, I think. And then, uh, last but not least, let's go ahead and make a quick sword. All right. Is it? It better not already be getting nighttime. Just freaking logged in. All right. So let's go ahead and sorry, sheep. Oh my god, there's like I don't even know. What is that? The Trawny? It looks like a bow. I thought it was like ears. Whatever. Ooh, no, no, no. Okay. So um, oh, I did pick up that crafting table. All right. Let's go ahead and make that bed really quick. That is a priority numero uno. Ta -da. All right, now what I think I want to do here anyway is uh, I'll kind of want to stay just in this general area uh, and kind of collect some resources. Uh, nothing major, I don't think. Um, what do I want to do here? I might want to go over there and actually because I see some sugar cane off in the distance. Go grab that sugar cane, start a uh, small sugar cane farm. I uh, kind of want to get a bunch of wood and... Get some food and if I, oh, there's more sheep right there. Let's see if I can uh, find some like cows and things like that as well. Uh, clean up this area and actually get some uh, basic farms going. And I will name this as spawn. That way if I ever need to come back here for like uh, cows or sheep or anything like that, um, we can do so. So, all right. So I'll be right back and hopefully I have some farms going and I will update you guys in the process. So be right back. Okay, I'm back and so pretty much all I've done is cleared out some land. Actually, that's not true. I didn't clear out land. I cleared out a lot of uh, grass and things like that. So I've got a lot of seeds, which I'll show you right over here. Shaw. Sure. Um... Yeah, so I just got a bunch of random odds and then stuff. I'm not sure. Pretty sure barley is the same as uh, uh, like normal seasoning and wheat because I already bred some sheep like that with the barley. So I'm pretty sure that's the same. Uh, I'm not sure how the agri craft or whatever agri. I don't know. Anyway, however that stuff works, uh, I'm not sure if it has to be planted. A certain way or what uh, same thing with the where they at potatoes yeah I'm not sure so I might plant one or two just to see how that works because uh, I'm quite unsure um, I cut down some of the apple trees and sure enough I did actually get some apple saplings and as you see here I have uh, some nine by well the inner part of this is actually a nine by nine area same thing with this one uh, one I'm gonna have cows one I'm gonna have sheep I saw that come over here may plant uh, a tree or two of uh, the apple trees um, so I can get some apples one just well food even though I have a crap ton of apples already I think I have uh, I made an entire stack of apples and apple juice and then I have a little over a stack still left sitting there so that's pretty good um, but yeah this is just a small update what I'm doing to spawn because uh, I know in previous mod packs and stuff like that I've always seemed to need more and more leather and could never find the cows so I'm trying to preemptively attack that so 
Uh, let's go ahead and get some cows and some sheep in here. Uh, I'm also going to set up some actual farms with some like uh, carrots and potatoes if they will grow. And if they grow, the carrots will be used to maybe breed some pigs if I want as well. Uh, just because I can, you know. Wow, that one grew pretty damn fast actually. Nice. Alright. Anyway, so that's pretty much where I am. And I'm going to continue on working with this. And uh, get some sheep and stuff like that over in this area. And uh, get some... Uh, cows as well uh, which I saw some when I first started over in that direction somewhere so let me go see if I can go get those so bear back all right what's going on everybody I just want to cut back in here for a second and actually give you guys a little update so um, yeah barley can breed it seems uh, just like wheat with the uh, sheep and all but for whatever reason uh, the sheep don't care about it and they don't follow you So I'm um, currently in the process of actually uh, growing some actual seeds now. I did find out something about the uh, crap on you know what they're called the uh, Crop sticks or something. I don't even know these these little doohickey sticks right here anyway um, if you craft them one way they're industrial craft but if you craft them another way, they're actually agrocraft. Both use four sticks. Don't know, but I like the agrocraft ones better. Uh, they seem to give a lot more information. As you see at the top left, it actually says like a percentage. Um, like, you know, this one's 14%. That one's uh, 14. This uh, carrot is, oh, and it tells you the type it is. And it tells you that it is fertile and able to grow and all the other good stuff. Um, that's 29%, this one's 14%. Whereas these say nothing. I don't know, looks stupid, but whatever. So I will go with the agrocraft ones, or I hope I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but um, I don't have any more wood, do I? I need to cut down some more trees and grow trees. But pretty much, uh, in a uh, if you put the sticks in a two by two like that. It's the agrocraft ones, which are much better in my opinion. And if you do it like that, like as if you're making boots, it's actually the industrial craft ones, which I hate. So, there you go. Uh, just a little pro tip, I guess, uh, for anyone who is watching this. These are much, much better and uh, seem to actually able to grow the carrots and the potatoes. So I will actually be including that probably in my uh, farm as well uh, in fact I'll probably have to increase the size of the farm so let's go ahead and uh, start doing that I started making a mine shaft as well if I can actually get over here it's uh, barely anything it's a bar barely a hole in the ground so right there so let me go ahead down here and put down a torch or so there you go now this will eventually be obviously much bigger this is going to be my primary mine shaft at the beginning so I can get a bunch of uh, resources and things like that before I actually head on out anywhere so um, anyway yep so that's that and uh, I'll be back in a second hopefully with some sheep and stuff in the pins like I wanted to uh, and since I do have the carrots growing actually after that grows uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some pigs over here as well so uh, stick around and when I come back hopefully I have some sheep cows and pigs inside of these pins here and I can actually start growing those or growing those breeding those growing I don't think you grow them that'd be kind of cool though maybe this is my pack after all anyway I'll be right back and uh, see you guys in a second all right so here we go finally I got some things started all right so I will make this look better but off to the right here right next to my sword here is uh, my farm uh, the beginning of it uh, there's gonna be some sugar cane here in a minute um, possibly some uh, right, in, right in the double spot here there's gonna be some pumpkins because um, I did actually find a few so let's go ahead and turn those into seeds uh, that's plenty well, actually probably way more than enough but it's whatever um, and over here might be something or that might be like double sugar cane. I'm not exactly sure uh, Eventually this row and this row will both have something 
uh, but right now it's barley and uh, normal wheat. Uh, I was able to get some everything over here and ta-da, got some cows. Now, shockingly enough, I was able to get all these cows over here all at once. I didn't have to take multiple trips. This is, I didn't even breed these. These just all followed me and I was able to get them all back, so that's really nice. Um, I got some sheep, or sheep. Hey, nice sheep, you've uh, got rid of all your wool and our pink. Yeah, so anyway, I was able to get some pigs uh, back with my one care. I now have two, but for now, um, that's it. And I need to actually plant some carrots over here as well. That's something I actually forgot. And I um, got some sheep. So uh, I'm not sure. I think I might actually keep all different colors. And eventually, I will probably have multiple of random different colors as well. But for now... Uh, I say this is all we need and things are going pretty well. So uh, let's go ahead and take these really quick. Actually, you know, what? I have some uh, other seeds. Uh, do I actually have some legitimate more seeds of carrots? And a lot of them, apparently. Oops. Yep. Um, and that's another thing. I uh, decided just to make the quartz grindstone. Uh, off the bat and I didn't even record it um, This is just the beginning of my ore doubling process Yeah, you just put some ore in here. Yeah turn the stick now if you don't stop turning it after there's nothing in here because this actually stopped turning uh, But if you keep on trying to turn it it actually break the stick uh, But or the crank rather but no big deal. It takes five sticks to actually make a crank no big deal so um there we have it this is the beginning of the spawn area um i got to do a lot more mining and things like that and i did want to show you one other thing when it comes to the mine uh, let me pull out my sword there real quick oh a little bit of lag Oops. anyway and i'm gonna probably build something like a little hut thing or something like that around here uh but i'm not actually gonna make this area look pretty but i didn't come down here far and ta-da i found like a little cave uh, there's some, uh, what is that, copper over there. Looks like some more uh, surface quartz, um, some iron and aluminum and things like that. Uh, not much going on over here, but this is where I actually got the iron from, like right there. And uh, there was a couple right there. Um, but one thing I didn't realize, there it is. but yeah, there's like an entire cave system down here, so... Yeah, yeah, should be a lot of fun. Should be, uh, should be able to get quite a bit of resources here at the beginning. Oh my God, that's actually a ravine. I didn't even know that. Hmm. Well then, it's kind of crazy. I may not actually go down there. Um, might just continue digging down some actual steps and see what happens. What are you? Oh, hello, zombie. <laughs> What is that? That's Marvel. But, yep, so there you have it. This is going to be the end of actually the first episode of my new Let's Play Feed the Beast Infinity. Hopefully you guys liked it and enjoyed what you've seen. And hopefully you come back and uh, check out some more. So, how the hell do I get out of here? So, see you later. And, uh, yeah. Episode 2, coming up next.